Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're going to head up to Alberta. Alberta. South Peace Outfitters. Down Bearing down, baby. Yeah, we can't wait. I mean, we love I it know. up there. And you know what the thing is, is with bear hunting, mm -hmm. you know, there's that issue, you know, baiting or non-baiting. Right, spot and stalk, yeah. Right. The bottom line here is the majority of your bear hunting is done over bait. That's Period. right. That's the fact. And it's all legal. Number two. Right. It oh. helps you identify the animal that you're going to be taking. Right. Which is really good. And right. three, it's probably one of the only ways to manage the population. That's right. And you know what? We love helping manage the bear population. We're managers. So this week's lucky logo is Cabela's. Oh, Cabela's, Cabela's. It's in your nature. And in your nature is everything, because that's what they have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, watch for the Cabela's logo. Let's just start. let's go. Let's get Baron down. Baron down. Up South Peace, Alberta. Baron let's down. go. Big bears. You know, one of the things we most look forward to, and that's spring bearing down. You know, and coming up with Don Lind and South Peace Outfitters, it, it's awesome, man. I mean, we, we come up here in Alberta, probably one of the best provinces out there, loaded with game, loaded with bears. We are always ready to head up here. Well, Dad's had South Peace Outfitters probably for around 15 years now. I can remember coming out to bear camp as long as I can. He's been pretty much running it in the same area here. We've got lots of established bait sites that we come back to year after year and they always are producing lots of bears. Kind of got our little recipe of bear bait made up. It's kind of been critiqued over the last, I don't know, 10 years. We've really started changing things up and I think we finally found the best thing now. We got about 25 or more different bait sites we're running this year. Uh, we keep them about two and a half miles apart, uh, maybe a little more just because then it decreases the chance of bears traveling between bait sites and it helps us kind of pattern them a little bit better. Well, the bear and down, baby. Yeah, we're back with the bear, the bear master himself, Don Lynn. And we are heading down to a bait that I've had some years of experience in. We've seen some really good bears. It's our first day of the camp. Actually, Josh, is, this is his first ever bear hunt. So he's filming and I think I'm going to film him when he sees his first bear coming in because between you and I, I think he's going to be shaking. South Beach, baby. First night here at South Peace Outfitters, Dan and I head out to the stand with Tyler. We drive into where we're going to sit and there's a bear ready on the site. It's a new site. Nobody's hunted it yet this year. Last time I was in, I noticed there was some sizable scat. It looked like there was multiple different bears. It just had all the signs to be a promising sit, so we decided we'd go in there for the first night. We hurry up, Dan and I, we get up in the tree. Tyler makes sure we're set. He goes ahead, rebates the stand. He takes off, and within 10 minutes, that bear came right back in. It was a smaller bear, it was a young bear, it was a little boar, and about 10 minutes later, another boar came back in with him. We're guessing they're probably siblings, they look about the same age, and they were definitely having some arguments. We've got a new product that we're testing out up here. It's called Northwoods Bear Products. The two younger bears came in and they kept rubbing up on the cinnamon scent that Tyler had sprayed on the trees and they were trying to eat at it and it's just an aroma scent. It's an attractant and it's trying to get the bears to know where that site is at. And obviously it worked pretty good last night. We do is we spray. That wind is swirling pretty bad. So 
far north of what's bare sense. We start spraying, trying to keep that odor fresh because here's the deal. We're gonna sit here for a few hours. Our scent is always going to be fresh. So just don't think you spray it once and you're done. Spray it periodically through the night. Our first night, well, what are you gonna do? We had a big bear on camera. Our spy points told us where it was, but he didn't show up. Don't be misled, because sometimes you'll, you'll see a big bear on a trail camera and you're like, oh, I gotta go there, I gotta go there. And th that may not be his route on a regular basis. So don't give up, because those cameras will tell you that they're there at any given time. You know, you just gotta be there. Don't sit in camp, because if you sit in camp, I don't think that big guy's gonna walk through there. Those two younger boars, they were in and out all night long. We'd hear a noise and they would look and then we wouldn't hear anything. They finally, they just walked away and all of a sudden, we looked to our right and there's a good bear coming in. Holy cow, it's a decent bear. He's got a long head. He took his time coming in. He was real nervous, really timid, and he was acting like he didn't belong there and it kind of made me think it might have been a sow. We're looking at him and comparing him to the size of what the other two were in there, and he's a good bear. As he got in, and I was able to go ahead and identify him, and he was a boar, then my heart started pumping pretty good. And then one of the smaller bears had come up, and we could see him side by side, and I thought, why are you hesitating? It's the first night, who cares? I wouldn't pass him up on the last night, I'd want him on the last night, so why not fill one of my tags the first night? He finally presented me the shot that I needed and carbon spider straight back and my arrow, my beaming just zipped right through him, hit the actual barrel on the other side and came back out as he ran away. Oh, I just shot a really good black bear. Within the first 15 minutes, we had two small black bears come in. They came back and forth all night long. They finally took off, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you can't hear them walking. All of a sudden, this big guy comes in, but he was acting really timid, so I was a little hesitant. I wanted to make sure he was a boar, and he showed me he was a boar, and we watched him and watched him and watched him, and finally, he stood up and gave me a great shot. I'm not gonna shoot him while he's laying down, and I just pinned him, and he ran. He ran fast that way probably maybe 60 yards. I can actually see, I see blood on the trail right to there. So it's gotta be right there. I bet you we find more right there on that log. Yep, there's some right there. I'm wondering if we should go and get him real quick. Cause I'd like to get Tyler and go on the blood trail before it gets too dark. He ran that way and then he gets kind of curved. So, and is it supposed to rain tonight? Do you know? You got blood? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of trees, so you never know what might be underneath them, eh? There's a bunch of blood right here. Blood right there. What? Where? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? Thank you. Look at that, huh? Cold Look at the him. scars on his head. Look at that. That's really cool. First night, South Peace Outfitters. I was going to be super picky, and then this guy came in, third bear tonight, and things can change. Weather can happen. We could be stuck in camp the rest of the time. Don, everyone here at Tyler, everyone here at South Peace Outfitters. Thank you so much, Dan. Thanks for hanging out in the stand with me again. Honey, thanks for letting me be here. And of course, Big Lord up above for letting us find him before it got too dark, which it is getting really dark. And um, 
for allowing me to take another great creature of his. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bear. We're heading out. Tonight is gonna be a, actually it's sort of a blind date night. Nikki and I are gonna be in our Ameristep line, so I'm gonna call it a blind date night. And I'm her blind date. Don said, you know, I got a good spot. It's real thick cover, and I think you guys will like it. We'll set up the Ameristep carnivore blind. And, um, you know, I was like, well, all right, that's cool. And Josh was like, on the ground with the bears? Because this is Josh's first time bear hunting, and all he knows is the only thing he's got to stop those bears is a camera, and I don't think he believes that'll happen. So we're sitting in our carnivore blind and all of a sudden, lo and behold, here comes a bear. And I'm gonna tell you something, if you've never hunted black bears from the ground or deer or anything, they look a lot bigger on the ground. And when all you have is that little material in between you and a bear, it gets that heart pumping even more. He came in, I'm glassing, I'm like, oh yeah, he's a boar. And he just presents a perfect shot. He's got a beautiful hide. And we're thinking, yeah, we're giving him a one-way ticket back home to Illinois. <laughs> Boop. He's down right there. Shot placement is everything. We've always said that. And I mean, there's living proof. You put it in the right spot and that bear, what, what do you go, 10 yards? And he's down. Shot a beautiful black bear here at South Bees from the ground. How cool is that? And he only went 10 yards. I grabbed that camera, that spy point, and went back to camp. And there were two pretty good boars here. You probably got one of them. Good deal. Huh? Oh, good deal. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab your uh, tensing and grab your tags and tag them up and get that thing. Ah, beauty. <laughs> Well, how everything works around here in camp, the guides, they all get together, they talk, they discuss who's gonna do what, where's gonna, everyone's gonna go, and Tyler decided that I needed to go down to a different place where he'd been seeing some really good sign. I decided to take Vicki into this site just because it was right near, probably a couple hundred yards away from a creek, some pretty thick bush up high on a hill where the wind could really take the scent. So it had lots of promising attributes to it to be able to work out for having the blind in there. It was quite dark, lots of young spruce trees. When we rolled into the site, there was nothing there, which actually kind of worked out perfect. It gave us a little bit of more time to get the, the blind set up on the quad pod. Got everything in there, put up our chairs, rolled out the floor, and we got set up right away while Tyler was finishing all the bait site stuff. And it wasn't even 10 minutes and the first black bear comes in. And about 10 minutes later, another bear comes in. And within the first 45 minutes of sitting in, this, in, in our carnivore blind, we had five different bears around us at some point in time. There's definitely a different intensity level, a different adrenaline level. 
This was one of the most exciting nights I've ever had bear hunting. It just got wild. I mean, we, we could hear bears behind us fighting and cracking logs and talking to each other. And there's bears just left and right and behind in front of us. And I mean, we even had one underneath us, underneath the quad pod there. It was so intense and so crazy. I mean, we were up to seven or eight different bears that we could tell were different bears. And then we had two of these bears in front of us, a boar and a sow, a young boar and a sow in front of us. And all of a sudden, the woods kind of got quiet and all of a sudden, Dan says to me, hey, that looks like a little better bear. I get a look at him and I go, a little? That's a no brainer. The bear came in, made himself comfortable for a while. He was in probably 20 minutes. There were some other bears going around trying, looking in and he would just look at them and they would disappear. <laughs> he was definitely the dominant boar on this bait site. Finally, this big guy got up, he walked over by where the beaver cage was at and he just cracked on one of those bones and man, I couldn't even imagine if that was one of my fingers. As he was turning and he was getting ready to go ahead and I figured he was either gonna leave or else he was gonna go back down to what he was doing before, I had the opportunity and I took that shot. My hit was definitely high. At least that's what it looked like. I mean, I took him down. I tried to knock an arrow right away. I didn't get the opportunity to put another arrow into him. But right away, immediately, I tried to call Tyler to tell him because I figured he was on his way. He needs to, when he comes in, he needs to bring a gun because there's so many bears. There's blood right there. There's lots of blood right there. When Tyler got back to where we were to help us track this bear, it was already getting dark. With all the bears that we had seen that afternoon, it was kind of intense and really crazy. We had bears in the trees and it was getting darker and we got out. There you go, I got last blood there, so we're gonna mark it and get out of here. It's getting dark, it's getting thick. We need to regroup, think about what we're gonna do, come back in the morning and see if we can find my bear. Next morning, we got up and we set off after the blood trail. Yeah, we have blood in here. We have last, you see there's a bunch of blood right here. There's a bunch of blood right there. We found some blood and then we were kind of worried and then we found some more and finally we ended up finding my bear. Yeah, baby! That is awesome. Oh, oh my God, thank you guys. As soon as we got up on Vic's bear, we instantly knew how great of a bear it was. He had a 20 inch skull on him, he was about 6 foot 11, just a fantastic specimen, great representation of the bears that we offer here at South Peace. Oh, last night this big boy came in and I hit him high, trailed him for a little bit. Now we have to try getting him out of the water. Again. I, I give up, man. That man, you know, that for for a few loser. years, that no for a brainer. few years there, for whatever reason it was, like I just wasn't getting those no brainers. And then and last also, last spring, it was just like bam, bam, big bears here coming he comes. in. Here comes yep. Vicky. Woo woo. Yeah, great. Thank you, Don, and everyone up at South Peace Outfitters. It was awesome. I love that. Yep. You, you know, and I'll tell you, if you really want to have some fun, get on the ground with them. Yeah, it is. We a lot set of up fun. our Maristep ground blinds. We had such a blast, and I'll tell you what. It is such a new adrenaline rush. It We've is. done it for a long time, but, right, but for other people to experience it and witness it, that is really cool. If you happen to see the Cabela's logo. Cabela. It's in your nature. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's gonna win some stuff from Cabela's, as well as some other companies, some of our manufacturers. A lot of goodies, tons of goodies. Well, we wanna thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.